Okay, well, I've got, uh, got one o'clock um, Eastern time, so it's good afternoon for the folks in, in, in Central, and uh, good morning still for the folks in Mountain and Pacific for joining us today. Uh, this is Cece. I'm, I'm usually the voice you hear on the phone if you call ISE, <laughs> and uh, we'll be uh, excited to make my first trip to the ARCSI convention and, and see the... Uh, ISSA show floor for the first time. I've seen it online, and it's it's, it's pretty incredible. But, uh, today we've got uh, their Christian uh, talking about uh, how to you know, kind of schedule yourself and and get prepared to attend a convention so you get the most out of it. And uh, certainly welcoming special guest Ernie Hartung of uh, the executive director of ARCSI, and uh, they will be looking specifically at uh, some of the uh, some events that will be available to uh, to ARCSI members attending convention this year and uh, some exciting things happening there. So I'm uh, certainly glad to introduce Derek and Ernie. I'm going to pass it off to Derek and uh, he'll get us started. Great. Well, I'm Derek uh, with My Maid Service. Uh, I see some names I recognize on the call. I, I also am a uh, current board member of ArcSeal, only for about three more weeks, and then I'm going to be staying been off and replaced by some new folks. Ernie is our executive director, so go ahead and say hi, Ernie, so everyone knows your voice. Hi there, folks. Great. Ernie is the guy who basically runs ARCC. So theoretically, the board uh, provides oversight for Ernie, but Ernie runs most of it for us. So uh, obviously, the point of today is to talk about the uh, convention that's coming up in October and give you an idea. Yeah, um, ARCC typically does two conventions a year, one of which is in October, November, which is the one that's coming up, and the other one is in April. Um, the April convention is what's called the Executive Leadership Conference. It's typically designed for the people who are attempting to take their company to the next level. Uh, we talk about, you know, working on your business instead of in your business. It's very much normally management topics, things like that. Uh, the annual convention tends to be a little bit more hands-on. Uh, one of the things we have is a trade show floor with over 700 vendors. So while we also have management training going on, there's a lot of technical training. There's lots of opportunities for you to get out there and actually see products, touch products. Um, there are different names that get thrown around. ARCSI is the Association of Residential Cleaning Services International. Uh, IHA is the International Executive Housekeeper Association. That Those are the people that clean hotel rooms and places like that. And then there's BSCAI, which is the Building Services Contractors Association International. Uh, all three of those associations get together along with publications and other people as part of what's called ISSA Interclean. It can get a little bit confusing because we're going to be talking about ISSA events and ARCSI events. Think of ISSA as the larger more overarching organization. When you attend the ARCSI convention, you also get to attend the ISSA convention. So it's sort of a, a two-for-one deal. Uh, do you have anything else to add to that? No, I think it's a pretty good description. And, and we've been affiliated and, and worked with ISSA for probably three years. And, and you know, again, their their members are primarily the large manufacturers and large distributors and, and small manufacturers. But they, they handle the manufacturing end of things is, a, is a, another description. So I think it's it's been a relationship, and it certainly remembers a lot of things that I'll be quite frank. RC couldn't do on its own, but our partnership with ISSA uh, makes for a great kitchen week. Neat because we have the housekeepers, the folks who clean commercial buildings, the residential cleaners all together. We get better speakers. We get literally everyone who's anyone in the cleaning industry is there. I did a search earlier because I was trying to show one of my people in my office why he wanted to go, and I pulled up vacuum manufacturers. There are 25 vacuum manufacturers that are going to be at this show. So if you want what vacuum you want to buy, uh, there's 25 different people to go visit and get their opinions on. So uh, literally almost everyone in the industry is going to be there. So um, one of the things we wanted to give you a head, heads up ahead of time is there are a couple things you may want to download to be prepared. Um, ISSA offers a show floor map app for your smartphone, which I have a stupid phone, so uh, I won't be using that, but most of you have better phones than I do. Uh, it's a great map because, once again, there are over 700 exhibitors on that show floor. You can get lost very, very easily. And then ARCSI is going to be doing a scavenger hunt using a application, and I actually don't know much about this one, so I was going to pass off to Chris if you want to kind of give a heads up on what's going on there. 
Me and Chris Zimmer, our uh, director of communications and membership here at ARCSI, who is the person that really runs the show, and let her explain the scavenger hunt in the app. Everyone, we're going to be using the app Scavenger. It's uh, the word scavenger without any vowels, basically. Um, you can download it on uh, Google Play or uh, iTunes. And once you get to the convention, we'll be playing uh, playing along just things like uh, visiting a vendor and telling us what their giveaway was or snapping a picture of yourself in the hospitality suite with your friends or giving us your tip of what your tip of the day that you picked up in the education sessions today. Uh, There's about 30 or so uh, chances to participate. There's 30 or so uh, tasks that you need to complete. And then the person who went, who, completes most tasks on the scavenger hunt, will win a $50 Visa card, and um, we'll have a second and third place as well. I believe those those are going to be $25 uh, Visa gift cards as well. Uh, and it's just giving pictures and, like I said, your tips that, uh, that you'll pick around the convention and in the networking events as, as well. You know, I mention it now is uh, hopefully you're going to understand once we're done with this, you're going to be very busy at the convention. So downloading these two apps ahead of time is one of the things you can do to get ready for convention. So you may want to download them, have them ready, and then when you get there, you can use them. So I uh, also just wanted to point out that anyone who is either not an ARCSI member or a new ARCSI member, there is an ARCSI 101 webinar tonight at 730, which is an opportunity to get more information on ARCSI. Um, what is ARCSI? Why do you want to be a member? What are the benefits of ARCSI? Um, that is tonight at 730 Eastern Stand Time. Uh, for the Pacific time. So not the point of today's call, but we have some people on that are ARCSI members. We're going to keep talking about ARCSI. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a great call to attend. So I guess not the point of the call, but wanted to point out that it is available. I'm sure if you uh, shoot us an email or ask a question at the end, we can get you details on that call. So the ARCSI ISSA show, it is running from October 15th through the 20th, so we have just two weeks left, so we're basically pending a nervous breakdown right now. Um, it's a joint convention, like I said, with the residential cleaning group, with our specific training, as well as access to ISSA and other education events. Um, there's going to be over 20 associations and publications that come together for ISSA. And they've got the website, cleaningconvention.org, which I'm going to jump to in here in just a second um, to give you some idea of the schedule and what's going on. Um, one of the major benefits of ISSA is the show floor. Uh, this is uh, one of the core things is a trade show. Starting Wednesday at 1, then 8 to f- I think it's 8 to f- 9 to 5 on Thursday, and then on Friday until 1, the trade show floor is open. There were 700 major exhibitors there with all the major cleaning-related supplies, software, publications, uh, insurance, everything you could almost think will be there. Um, it's a great opportunity to get ahead of trends and see things that are coming. Um, we saw chemical-free cleaning there four or five years ago before we started to see it uh, in more places. You chance to try new equipment and try some chemicals hands-on. You can also negotiate great deals. A lot of the guys at the, a lot of the vendors at the show have trade show, show specials. Um, those of you may not know my history, before I started my maid service, I actually worked for Procter & Gamble for 12 years. So I used to work this very show as one of the guys in the booth. So I also know a little bit about what the guys in the booth are trying to accomplish. Um, the trade is always very busy when it first opens on Wednesday. There's normally a pretty huge line. Friday tends to be the slowest day of the week. Um, what I recommend whenever possible uh, is that you ask to arrange an appointment for a demo at home if you're serious. Uh, once again, this is where it comes in good uh, that I've been there before. There are a tremendous amount of free be hunters at the shows, and a lot of the manufacturers have kind of burned out on it. So if you just ask for a sample, a lot of times they're going to say they don't have any, um, and that's just because they've burned out. They've given out cases and cases and cases of samples, and nothing happened. If say, hey, I'm really interested, I'd love you to come by and do a demonstration at my business, they are much much more likely to either give you a sample right then and there, or arrange a demo back at home and come with a salesperson. Uh, a lot of times they'll go with you to a job site and actually demo the product on the job, bring you a case of product for free. So if you're really interested, ask them to schedule an appointment for a demo at home. Most manufacturers will pull a schedule right on the spot and get it for you or get you the phone number of the guy back home for you to call. 
If you do want a sample, one of the best things for you to do is to talk to them ahead of time and then ask to get it on Friday. Um, what you need to understand is these guys pack up the trade show Friday and have to ship it all home, and most of them don't want to do it. So uh, if they don't have a, demo, a sample they can give you on Wednesday, chances are if you go back on Friday and say, hey, you're packing up your booth right, right now. I'm just wondering if I could get a bottle of that product I talked to you about on Wednesday to take home with me. They'll probably go ahead and give it to you. But remember, you have to take it home. If you took a flight and it's more than three ounces of liquids, you're probably going to have a problem. So think ahead. Once again, uh, one of the best ways is to just ask for a demo when you get it home. Another recommendation that we strongly recommend is that you plan ahead. And hey, Derek, one, one quick correction. The, the, the yeah. show floor opens at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Oh, and early this year. Okay. Normally it was one. Sorry. This is a map of the actual show floor. Um, like I said, it's pretty massive, and the link to this is in the presentation that I just shared. Um, also, if you download the app, it's there. But what I recommend you do is plan a little bit ahead and figure out who you want to visit. I've been to this show, and I've actually tried to walk all, boot, all the booths. Even if you use all three days, chances are you're not going to be able to do it. Because if you're serious about something, like you get interested in a product, you're probably going to spend 30 or 40 minutes just talking in that product. Um, you can do an alphabetical list of exhibitors. There is a list of exhibitors by type of things that they make. There's also this show floor map, and it's clickable that when you click on it, details such as the website of that company pops up so you can see what they make. I strongly encourage you to plan ahead and have a plan for who you're going to hit. I don't think you need to hit everyone who's there, but I, I would recommend you have sort of a top ten list of who you want to visit and what you want to talk to them about. And like I said, you've got exhibitor lists. You've got product categories lists where you can pull it by category and see what your offerings. For example, I told you guys earlier, if, if you're for a vacuum manufacturer, I did this earlier because I was demoing to somebody. I said, I want information on vacuum cleaners. It shows all the people who sell or manufacture vacuums on the floor. And you can see to some extent ISSA tries to help you. They try to cluster people together whenever possible. But there is the guy, this guy probably registered late, and that's why he's way, way over here, um, because all the booths close to that area were taken. So it's a great feature and helps you plan ahead. You know, if I'm looking for steam cleaning equipment. Here's all the companies that make steam cleaning equipment. So now when I go to the show floor, I'm not wandering 25 aisles trying to figure out who makes steamers. I can go straight to the people that I know make steamers and go from there. Uh, so I highly recommend this. It's a fantastic application. will help you plan ahead and get the most out of convention. If you plan ahead, you're going to have a much, much better experience. Uh, anything to add on that? No, I just uh, but you're right. It, it is a uh, uh, massive thing when you get there. It's several football fields. Now, one thing is, is and we may be ahead, and you're maybe going to cover this, Derek. If you have your residential credentials, if it's on the same floor as the show level, only it's across the concourse. It'll be easy to find. They didn't have that, so we'll talk about that maybe a little bit out on the end and how to register and okay. not signed up. So those are my tips for the show. For plan ahead. Um, maybe a few other generic tips at the end, but, but a lot of people really want to get samples and stuff at the show. Once again, as a guy who's worked for the manufacturers, if you're serious, the best way to get samples is to ask them to demo at home. If they don't want to do it, they'll give you a product on the spot. If they want to, they'll do it at home. And you're probably going to learn more, more the salesperson on site cleaning something with him than you are on the show floor where they're doing some easy demo with a piece of glass that's been cleaned 65 times. Everyone does these demos with the same piece of glass that they've cleaned 65 times. Of course it comes clean. Um, I like to get the sales guy out at one of my customer sites and point at the floor and go, you clean that. You can get that off. I'm impressed. So that's what I recommend you guys do. shows your sales. Okay, ISA has a lot of education going on. Uh, Wednesday, Scott Deming is giving a lecture on one team, one brand. Um, Tom Brokaw, who is someone that we could never afford on our own, is giving a speech on uh, about being the voice of a generation. And then Friday, uh, Janelle Britton is giving uh, another lecture on the vision behind customer-focused culture. These are all really heavy, heavy hitters um, in the industry. You can pull up their bios on their website and get some more information on it. And once we have a link to it to show you, uh, nope, that's our website. So this is the ISSA schedule, and it includes all the speakers on it. 
This is a clickable schedule. So if you see something like a speaker and you're curious about who they are, uh, you can click on it and it will pull you up a link about that person, their bio, and one team, one brand, the bio, and what it's about. So that's what I recommend you go to this schedule. There is also a tremendous amount of ISSA education going on. I'll warn you, some of it does have an additional cost, and when you click on it, you may see it. But you can go to any of these ISSA education events. They are typically aimed at commercial cleaning, but sometimes there is some things that cross over pretty well. Um, you know, things that like you're selling but are your customers buying, that's aimed at commercial cleaners, but we sell too. And, you know, person, how to get what you need from manufacturers. These are open to you. So not only do you get the ARCC education events, but you also get the ISSA education events. In my experience, most people who go to the show don't tend to go to these events, and I think it's a mistake because you have some fantastic speakers. You've paid for it. By all means, you should go. So when you look at this, you'll look at both the ARCC events, but also look at the ISSA events because you may want to attend one of their speakers. You know, Some of these things sound really good to me. Innovation and entrepreneurship, the right marketing mix. And you can read about it, what he's going to be talking about, et cetera. Anything so far, Ernie? No, I think I don't think. Of it, but again, we've got uh, you know just some excellent uh, ISSA things. As Eric mentioned, if you register with us, you are eligible for all of their free events. Again, some of them have a additional costs, like the IICRC hard floor training and that kind of thing. And and you have to register for those uh, through the ISSA website. Like, definitely look at the ISSA education, and I would recommend you go to the keynote speakers like Tom Brokaw. Um, everyone gets invited to that. If you get there early, you can be in the front row. Um, you'd be able to get the, uh, that close to these type of people and meet them at almost any other venue, especially not for the couple hundred dollars that you're paying. Now, instead of retyping the whole ARCSI website, we're just going to run through the schedule on the ARCSI website. It is conveniently enough, cleanconvention.org, and I've just gone to the schedule tab. Monday and Tuesday, we are teaching the IICRC House Cleaning Technician Program offered by ISE. This is a certification program based on the science of cleaning and teaching about the science of cleaning. It's certified through IICRC, which is the same organization that does fire and water restoration certification, carpet cleaning certification, mold remediation certification. Um, so it's a fantastic uh, training program. It is an additional cost because it starts before the convention, but if you're interested, uh, I'm sure we'd be happy to get you signed up. Today is when the main convention starts to come together. Um, the ARCC Member Lounge opens up, and the ARCC Members Lounge is a room that's set up for informal networking and also just for you to take a break. If there is a ARCC event going on at the McCormick Center, which is the convention center, the lounge is going to be open during those times. If the show floor is open, the lounge is going to going to be open at those times. The lounge is a great place to meet people if you want to meet for lunch. It's a great place for you to go uh, print out things. Ernie's going to have a couple computers set up where you can uh, print out a plane ticket, uh, check and make sure your plane's not paid, uh, things like that. It's also just a great place to uh, sit down and rest if you've been walking all day. So when you got the ISSA speaker, and then lead off with the 10th session <clears throat> with Steve Ritter from the Time Clock Institute about building a great office team. Um, Steve Ritter is actually used by one of our members, Gosha Barron, and she speaks very, very highly of him, says that he, she, they have an absolutely fantastic program. And then the show floor opens up, like Ernie said, at 10, although hopefully you'll be at that education session, so you'll be go hitting the show floor right around lunchtime. Now, that night, we're going to be back at the Hard Rock. That's our hotel. And at the Hard Rock that night, we're having a welcome reception. Um, go to the welcome reception. Ernie's going to tell you about news. Uh, we're going to tell you about the competitions and contests that are going on. And I believe there's no way food. Am I not? Am I correct, Ernie? There are light hors d'oeuvres on Wednesday okay. evening. And, and one thing that isn't on this schedule also that I, I want to – for new members, first-timers, or even old time on a refresher, at 6 p.m. at the Hard Rock, uh, one of our new members' orientation is going to be sort of this webinar, actually, and kind of walk people through uh, how to get the most out of your convention experience. Yep. So I recommend you attend those. They're always great. 
Um, always coming up with new things and adding new things to this convention schedule. In fact, there's several things that aren't on it because we've added it. So attending that welcome reception is a great chance for you to get that type of stuff. If you've not had a chance to get over to the McCormick Center and register, uh, typically Chris will be there and able to get you your, red, your registration packets and things like that at those welcome receptions. So, And that always is a little more comfortable. I didn't mention this, but starting on Tuesday, buses will be running from the Hard Rock to the Convention Center, and they run pretty much all day long. There's going to be some signage that will explain where you get those buses. So I don't know. at 7 in the morning, Darren, or Derek, and, they, and then they run till one hour after the show closes. So Thursday, um, obviously the Members' Lounge is open, the ISSA trade show floor is open all day long, and you lead off with Tom Brokaw at 8.30 in the morning. Bus ride probably takes about 20 to 25 minutes. So if you want to hear Tom Brokaw, I recommend you be catching the bus at about 7:30. So just realistically, uh, with walk time and you know, you know, you never can be quite sure the bus is right there when you step out. I would plan on catching the bus at 7:30 if you want to catch Tom Brokaw. Uh, Tam, we kick off an education session with Kathy Calhoun. Um, she is the president of North American Operations for Weber Shanwick Public Relations. She's going to be uh, teaching a session about building and protecting your business in a socialized world. Now, a lot of times we throw around these names and folks don't know who they are. Um, Kathy is a major, major heavy hitter. This is an arcsy only event that means at most there's going to be 200 people in this room. So you're probably going to get to ask questions and interact with her. She is the president of North American Operations for Web Sandwich, which is the largest PR organization in the world. They have also won nearly every award for being the best PR organization in the world. That's the website I just pulled up. They won, you know, the News Award, the Holmes Report Award, um, the Sir Awards. Um, one of the clients is Procter & Gamble, where I used to work. So uh, they are a major advertising agency. She is not some peon or someone who works in a random department. She is the president, and sort of one of her career-making moves is she was the person uh, who headed up the team that came up with the Got Milk campaign. So she's a heavy hitter. You're not get much better when it talks about PR and public relations than her. Um, There's a major event that you don't want to miss. So I don't know if I can be much clearer on, on that one. Uh, 11 a.m. We've got two tracks going on. So you're going to have two education sessions to choose from. Dean Cotto works for owns a company called Online Marketing Muscle. He taught last year at our Executive Leadership Conference, and people or maybe it was two years ago, some in the past. And people liked him so much they demanded that he comes back. So he's teaching a class uh, Thursday at 11 called Finding the Recipe for Marketing Success. Um, it's a session, and then Debbie Sardone, who a lot of you know from Cleaning for a Reason and her maid coach consulting business is doing a class on building a million-dollar cleaning business and how you, the things you need to do to achieve that. So uh, those are both great sessions. Just pick the one that you think is best for you, where you're going, and you've got, in company. You've got a couple choices there. Form education stops at lunchtime. Uh, but there are a couple other things that are going on that aren't on the schedule. Uh, there are some software user groups at 1, 2, and 3, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And that night... Once again, at the Hard Rock, all of the night events happen at the Hard Rock. We're going to have the ARCSI annual meeting, which is once a year ARCSI has to do a vote of members of some things like ratifying the bylaws. We update you on membership and financials and things like that. Um, ARCSI is a membership organization, and this is a chance to know what's going on with it. And we do roundtables and ask the experts. Roundtables are always one of our most popular events because what happens we get together and we break into small groups, and these are topics for this year's roundtable, um, and choose how many sessions are we doing this year, Ernie? We're going to have 10 tables. There'll be 10 roundtables, and there'll be five ask the experts, and, and we're going to do three sessions. They're about 45 minutes each. We take a little break and then switch tables, and so you're able to, you know, sit on three different topics uh, over the course of the evening. So you get to basically sit in on three of these topics. If you want to plan ahead, uh, you can go ahead and uh, look at this now and figure out where you want to go. Um, ask the expert sessions, or just like it sounds, that's where it's going to be one person. You're going to get to sit down and ask them their opinion of things. I've thought about doing this. I'm thinking of doing that. Here's how I do this. What do you think? Roundtables is more of a group setting where you get together and share. This is how I deal with this. How do you do it? How do you do it? Um, and there's going to be both of those going on. You can pick the sessions you want to go to. So think it is. Uh, bonus education sessions.
questions. You've got 15 topics to choose from, so you've got more than enough. In fact, probably more than you know uh, than you can possibly do. So hope to bring in more than one person, and you can split up and figure out who's going where. Roundles is always one of the most popular events. It is at night at 7.30, so sometimes first-timers miss out on it because they think all the education is during the day. You don't want to miss the roundtables at 7.30, okay? All right, Friday, again, the members' lounge is open till 1, and the trade show floor is open until 1. We've got a lot of education going on Friday morning. Um, we've shown me the money how to start turning a profit by John Schwery at Made Easy on track one. And then we've got getting a grip on safety with a gentleman whose name I can't pronounce from Liberty Mutual Insurance. So John's going to be talking the numbers, how to pull reports, how to understand the numbers that drive your business. And uh, the gentleman with Liberty Mutual Insurance is going to be talking to you about how to get control of your safety and risk management. Um, running a business, you've got a lot of exposure that you may not realize. Um, it's a good chance to sit down and hear about it. 9.30, we're doing a panel, Stages of Growth. We're going to have, I believe, three ARCC members on this panel, correct, Ernie? Correct. One Adam, uh, Enid Shepard, and Sean Kirkpatrick. Three sort of different stages of growth of their company, and they're going to talk about sort of the experience of what it's like to be like in each of those stages. Um, typically, there are obstacles and hurdles for each stage. Um, I've been through several of them, can tell you that it's not necessarily easier when you get bigger, it's just different. You have a different set of problems. And that's what they're going to be talking about. What type of skills do you need to develop? And there's normally a barrier each stage. There's something, a wall you need to climb over. And that's what they're going to be talking about in a panel setting and what stages of growth they went through, what were the opportunities and uh, risks they got in each of those. At 15, we're doing a fantastic session with a gentleman called Mel Kleiman of Humetrics called How Tough Manage Easy. Uh, I'm going to jump over to Mel's website once again because you see the names on here and you guys don't always know who's who. Uh, Mel Kleiman owns a company called Humetrics. He's also a pretty heavy hitter in the world of HR, and particularly in the world of HR, what I like about him is he specializes in companies that have employees like ours. His, uh, he consults for companies like Applebee's, Quick Copy, Circle K, Cracker Barrel, uh, folks that operate in the trade associations for grocery and convenience stores, Queens, we're talking fast food, convenience store type folks. Mel knows how to manage and motivate our type of employees uh, better than just about anyone in the industry. So I highly recommend Mel's session as well. Um, sometimes people name Mel Kleiman with Humetrics, and you don't know when somebody is a well-known heavy hitter speaker. Uh, Mel is very well-known uh, and was rather expensive to book, so I'd recommend you attend. Uh, okay. Uh, which two education sessions at the Hard Rock Cafe Friday afternoon? why is the trade show closes at 1, so we got to get out to Convention Center and head back to the Hard Rock. So at 1.30, um, we're having Organizing for Action, what to do with all this information that you learned. Um, Schoenberg is going to basically be teaching a session on you just learned all this stuff at convention. How are you going to implement it? How are you going to take all that stuff you learned, take it home, and do something with it? Uh, also at 1.30, we are going to be doing a ARCSI uh, an, an optional event with uh, uh, Dean Murdo. He's going to be doing website and social media hot seats. He did that executive leadership conference when he spoke. So if you've been to LC, you've probably seen this before, but if you haven't, he's going to get people in the audience to come and sit down and go, Derek, you're on my maid service. Let's pull up the my maid service website. Uh, let's talk about what you're doing good and what you're doing bad. So if you volunteer, he's going to take your website apart in front of the rest of the room. But it's a good experience because you're basically getting free coaching while he's there. And it's also great to sit and listen because you're going to pick up advice as you see him take other people's website apart. You're going to be sitting there going, oh, I do that on my website. Maybe I shouldn't do that. So uh, a session for you to go to. Um, one thing that's not on here, Ernie, is actually we're going to be doing some walking tours of the show also uh, Wednesday at 1 and Thursday at 1 uh, where we're going to meet give you some advice on the show floor, and then take you into 10 booths or so, give you some advice on like how to select a chemical manufacturer, how to select a vacuum manufacturer. Not only on the website, like I said, we're adding things all the time. That's going to be both Wednesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. So sorry I'm jumping around. I just realized that wasn't on here. Uh, and then at 7.30 at night, we are having the president's reception. This is basically our awards uh, 
session, we're going to be giving off our awards. We have both a raffle and a silent auction. Normally there are some fantastic items in the raffle and silent auction, so I highly recommend you attend that. Um, Ernie, anything to add so far? I've flown through a lot of stuff. We're covering a lot of stuff in a quick period of time. I think, Derek, Derek you're doing a great job with it. That I just want to say that uh, you know those awards include the Professional Cleaner of the Year, a uh, woman by the name of Brenda, Brenda Winters with Best Maids out of Frederick, Maryland. And then we have our President's Award, which is for the inside person who isn't out there cleaning. And that is Jessica Yonley with uh, San Diego Pro Cleaning in San Diego, California. And then uh, we have the... Uh, the new cleaning company of the year, which is Better Life Made out of St. Louis, Missouri, and uh, uh, and so honored along with our best website, best logo, best uniforms, best vehicle, um, newsletter electronic, best newsletter print, and a couple of other things. So it, it's a great time, and it's a great time for us to to recognize members who are doing a great job with their companies out there. Saturday, we have a full day of education. Saturday morning at 9 a.m., we have employee law, what you need to know with Greg. Um, Greg also spoke at ELC. He was a last-minute addition, and I think only had 30 or 45 minutes, and there was overwhelming demand from the room that he was one of the most captivating speakers we've ever seen and that they wanted him back. The gentleman who is a lawyer who specializes in employment law, it sounds like a really boring topic, but he made it very interesting and very relevant, told us very quickly and in a way you can understand the things you need to know about when you manage employees um, and risks you need to know about. For example, if you let your cleaners do their own laundry, you could potentially be sued at some point in the future for not paying them wages while they're doing their laundry. And that is a risk you need to know because it only takes one person to figure that out and round up the rest of the employees for you to have a real problem. So fantastic session. I know employee law sounds like a yawner, but I give you example after example of companies that have been taken down for not doing this right. And when else do you get a couple hours of free advice from one of the best lawyers in the industry? Change here, Derek. Go ahead. You will not be on your own. Lunch is included in the price of your registration. Uh, we have a company called Pocket Apprentice. They're actually out of Chicago. Uh, you may also know them as Open Chime. Have stepped and will be our luncheon sponsor on Saturday. So, uh, lunch will be provided, so you don't have to rush out of the hard rock and rush to get back for the afternoon session. Uh, lunch will be included with your uh, uh, with registration cards. There's no additional charge. Great. Like I say, he's constantly signing up new vendors, new education, so even two weeks out, we're adding things. Um, 1.30, our last education session at the hard rock is actually going to be myself and Liz Trotter. Um, we're teaching a three- to three-and-a-half-hour session on creating a place where people want to work. Um, if never met Liz or heard of Liz, she has a very energetic culture, probably the best way I can describe it. They have a lot of fun. Uh, Liz is probably one of the most visible members in Arxy, um, from everything from the crazy clothes she wears to just her personality, versus my culture that is much, much, much more, more corporate. Yet we've gotten together and figured out things that we have in common. We both have employees that stay with us for three, five, six, seven. In Liz's case, I think her longest is 15 and we're going to talk about the 12 things that we've discovered, even though our companies are different, that are actually the same. We both have 12 things in common, and we're going to talk about those 12 things in a way that's actionable and you can take home and use. And to be modest, but we're hoping it's going to be the single most exciting convention at the entire convention and blow you all away. So just Liz and I, we, we, we have low standards for ourselves. Um, Saturday at 7 is an optional dinner cruise. There is an additional expense for it, but it's going to be a chance for you after the education is over to go out, have some fun, relax, uh, go out on the beautiful lake and see Chicago from the water, which is absolutely amazing. So that's all the ARCSI formal education events. Or anything else you want to chime in before we jump on the next section? Yeah, Dad, I mean, for those of you, our, our Saturday education is scheduled to end in, in the 4, 430 ballpark. So those of you that, that want to save that extra night's hotel room and catch a plane home on early Saturday evening, I did check a bunch of flights going both east and west out of Chicago. And if you're going east, you can get home before midnight in most cases. And if you're going west, you get home at a you know, reasonable early evening time. So if you're planning on doing that, uh, you'll you'll be able to do it. It's about... 
uh, I'd say, you know, 30 minutes, plan on 30 minutes getting from uh, uh, the Bell to Midway, a little longer of that if you're going out of, out of O'Hare. Um, but you know, that, that option is available there if you, if you don't plan on staying over on Saturday night. But if you have a flight to stay, Liz and I are going to try to make it worth your time and effort. So. There you go. In addition to all of the events that are going on related to ARCSI and ISSA and the other trade associations, a lot of other people hold events at the convention. Uh, with this many cleaning companies together, and we want to offer alternate, or not alternate, but additional education opportunities, a chance to get in front of people. Um, IC, which is the organization I'm with, um, has a bunch of activities going on at the convention. Um, obviously, HCT classes we talked about on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Bruce, one of our members, is actually going to be speaking at IEHA. And Wednesday, we've got some education going on in the member lounge. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be helping with the show floor, too, uh, as well. Uh, we're going to be doing some webinars. Uh, we're going to be sending out some information on various things related to this. But CE's got some education events that we're going to be doing at, at the convention throughout that you're going to be invited to. Um, when you get there, your show bag is going to have a schedule that you can see in more detail. Uh, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to get some ISE education while you're there. Cleaning for Reason, uh, which a lot of you know, is actually having their appreciation event Thursday at 5.30 at the Hard Rock Cafe Hotel. And then the other vendors often offer events. They haven't uh, told Ernie or I what yet, but typically Nate O'Brien, Debbie Stone, Sharon Tinberg, Sharon Cowan, and the Hansons will offer various things. Uh, for example, Renee and Sharon uh, Cowan, for several years now, have offered an event where they talk about how to sell your cleaning business, which I've attended and is a great event. So uh, try to watch out for those. I, I has volunteered to put our, those education events from third parties on, your, uh, on his ARCSI convention if they get to them in time. So when you get your event schedule, it's going to have some additional education opportunities that by all means I would recommend you take advantage of everything that's there. So. A couple secrets that not everyone may realize. Uh, this is easy to get lost, but Thursday at 4.30, there is a happy hour. Um, and there's a happy hour on the trade show floor, and they have a cover band called 16 Candles. I just streamed this earlier, and it didn't work very well. Um, but if you go to the link that's in there, I think I must have closed it, um, there is a video playing of this band, and they're actually really, really good. They're a 1980s cover band. So if you want to have a little bit of fun on Thursday, uh, I recommend that maybe you attend that uh, happy hour that's going to be on the show floor and hear that band. Um, our members' lounge is a secret. A lot of times don't, people don't go there, but almost whenever there's something going on at, at the McCormick Center, the lounge is open. Once again, have informal networking opportunities, some computers with Internet access, um, and then I know ISE on Wednesday is going to be running education events almost all day Wednesday in the lounge. And in conjunction with Moody's, we're offering an education event on uh, Friday in the member lounge. Uh, Sharon Tinberg has the lounge on Thursday. I'm not sure what she's doing, but no, Sharon, no. she's probably going to be. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. It, I was going to put in a plug for my sponsors. Tuesday and Wednesday, the lounge is actually we're going to open early for those of you arriving on Tuesday. The lounge will be open on Tuesday, and Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, Advanced Vapor Technology and the Ladybug folks are our sponsor. On Thursday, Debbie and Steve Stone and the Clean Team Catalog will be our sponsor, and on Friday, Moody's will be our sponsor, and as, as Derek mentioned, he's going to be doing some things in conjunction with both Advanced uh, Vapor Technology and with Moody's. Well, and I know typically does stuff on Thursday as well, so always just a good idea to stop by the uh, members' lounge and see what's going on. Um, they haven't all pushed their schedules yet, but I guarantee you something will probably be going on with Debbie on Thursday as well. Uh, none which it wasn't on the schedule is the software user groups. Um, Thursday 1, we're doing Made Easy. 2 o'clock is Service CEO, and 3 p.m. Is, so is Thoughtful Systems. These are the people from the companies that make this software. They're going to do user groups and small group setting where you're going to get to sit down with a CEO or somebody from or a representative from these companies, ask questions about the software, see new demos, ask about where it's going. So for an hour, you're going to get to meet face-to-face -face with the people who make the software. 
If you have one of these applications and you've got questions, it's a great opportunity. If you haven't picked an application yet, you can sit down and meet the people in a three-hour block and see all the major software applications and pick one. Um, so it's a fantastic opportunity that we recommend you take advantage of if you want some more information on software. And it's a little bit of a secret because it's not uh, one of the ones that is normally really well known. Uh, and then the ARCSI booth. Whenever trade show is open, ARCSI has a booth on the trade show floor. Um, it's a great place to stop and sit down if you just need to get off your feet. Um, there's some education events that happen there. I know we are actually streaming a, a ISC webinar at one point. Are you guys doing the coaching this year or anything like that, Ernie? We haven't got that finalized yet, Derek. I don't, uh, we're going to try to do some coaching, although it's a little, you know, thing where we've got so much going on so many other places. We're not sure the, uh, what's happening with the coaching at this point. But we'll have the ability for you to vote uh, on the award, our image awards. We let the, uh, the folks attending the convention actually cast a vote for their favorites, and you can do that both in the members' lounge and in the booth. Uh, during the uh, Wednesday and Thursday, we close that voting at the when the trade show closes on Thursday. Uh, so we go to that, and some of our vendors uh, will have products in the booth that you'll be able to pick up. So uh, um, be a lot of activity in the booth. So stop by the show booth. It's not one eight six or forty three fifty six is the ARCF side booth number. A couple of events that Ernie recommends you don't miss. So Ernie, these are yours, so go ahead. Well, I think we we spent time talking about Kathy Calhoun, and, and uh, as Derek mentioned, she was the person that and her team were behind that milk campaign. But you really talk a lot about how to brand your company and, and also deal with the world of social media. And I think it's something we're all struggling with, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, you name it, you know, how do you deal with those negative reactions? And, and if you're not careful, things can do serious harm to your business beyond your control. So, uh, again, as Derek mentioned, they are the world's largest public relations firm. Kathy has spent a lot of time, thanks to our convention chair person, Jeff uh, Lang, who happens to know Kathy and, and ask her if she would speak at our convention, and she would, was happy to do so. So that's going to be, I think, a, a don't-miss session. Uh, the Dean Markov session on your marketing, the Dean's done several webinars and, and, and teleconferences for us and does an absolutely great job. And I, the session, I think, is just going to blow folks away and, and really make your convention experience great. Is Friday afternoon session at the Hard Rock with Sharon Tinberg. I, Sharon is arguably the best consultant in our industry when it comes to holding people accountable and developing those action item lists for you. Uh, that you can take back and implement things, and I think what Sharon is going to do uh, with regard to organizing all of this taking place at the convention so you can take it back home and immediately start putting into action what you learned will be an absolutely great session, and, uh, and that's one I certainly would not miss on, on Friday afternoon. I've got some events that I recommend. Um, Greg Hare on Employee Law. I heard this guy at ELC. Once again, Employee Law sounds so very, very boring, but if you don't do it right, you will lose your company. We're spending all this blood, sweat, tears, and stress trying to build something, and you're one lawsuit away from losing it. So I highly recommend you attend, not to be terrified, but if you know what to watch out for, if you know how to cover yourself, it makes your life so much easier. All of these things are just preventative. If you do them ahead of time, you'll never have a problem, but you need to do them ahead of time. Uh, also Saturday is Liz and I session. All right, I'm pitching my own session, but in all seriousness, Liz and I uh, have been meeting every other day to plan this. Um, it's going to be loud. It's going to be fun, but it's also going to be very, very educational. Um, it's probably going to run a little bit late, Ernie, but that's okay, um, because we're going to try to talk about the 12 things that you need in place to create a place that your people actually want to work, and you will have employees that work for you three, four, five, once again, 12, 15 years in some cases, and have lower turnover, happier, more dedicated, engaged employees. And we're not just going to sit there and talk about how great we are. We've spent a lot of time talking with each other about I do things very different than Liz, yet when you look at it, we both have systems, and we both have this checklist of, yeah, I do this. Now, I do it this way, and you do it that way, but we both have it. So we're going to leave you with that checklist so you can go back and figure out how to do that in your business. And we're going to see how Liz and I do it so you can get ideas. And I also think Mel Kleiman's incredible. Um, 
those of you that don't know, I, I spent a lot of time with, with Tom Stewart. I think Tom Stewart runs one of the best cleaning companies I know of in, our, in the industry. He's got probably one of the largest cleaning companies in America, and it's in one of the smallest cities, Charleston. And when Tom heard Mel Kleiman was coming, he's like, oh, Tom, Mel, Mel's great. I've hired Mel as a consultant before. He's one of the best guys in HR in the industry. So if Tom's impressed, I'm impressed. And Tom said Mel's fantastic. So I will be in Mel's class, and I recommend you be as well. And I want to thank the folks at Snag a Job who uh, were very generous in their, in their sponsorship and, and bringing Mel to us. Yeah, Mel wasn't free. We had to pay for him, and Snag a Job paid to bring him to us. So this is someone that would cost you a couple thousand dollars to get at your business. So please attend. General advice, bring one snack. Food at the convention center is obscenely expensive. We're talking like $5 bottled water. So uh, they know you're a a captive audience, so I recommend you plan ahead, bring some food and snacks with you to save money. Uh, also, it'll save you time because, especially around lunchtime, the lines can be obscene. You want to wear comfortable shoes. The show floor is massive. It has several football fields in size, and you're going to want to be comfortable when you hit the show floor. Don't worry about judging you. I normally go in jeans and a My Maid Service t-shirt. Don't worry about looking good. Look comfortable. Stay in the convention hotel whenever possible. Um, there's a lot of informal networking opportunities, but in addition, the buses run from the hotel. The educational events stay at the hotel. Um, some people stay in other hotels because it's cheaper, uh, but the problem is you end up having to get there, and it just creates a lot of logistical difficulties for you for, you know, I've heard people who are like, oh, I switched to this hotel. I'm saving $25 a night. For 75 bucks, you should probably stay at the convention hotel. I'm not going to a disclaimer go, here. Go ahead. Because as much as we want people to stay there, we have been telling people since June to make their hotel reservations at the Hard Rock. And I'll be honest with you, we may have sold out there. I think that we're having great difficulty getting additional rooms. And because, one, we're getting a a larger crowd than we anticipated in Chicago, which is a good thing. But if you can't get a hotel reservation at the Hard Rock, contact the ARCSI office, and we can hook you up with one of the other ISSA hotels. And um, so you get the busing and all that kind of thing. And they're, they're <laughs> relatively close. I also recommend, if at all possible, you bring some type of rolling luggage or bag to the show. ARCSI is going to give you a bag as well, but sometimes you want to have even more. Um, people are going to give you free samples, pens, sales literature, etc. It is a massive show floor, and anything that makes it easier for you to carry that stuff around is going to help. Also a good place to keep your water and snacks. Um, so just recommend you bring something to carry all the stuff in that you're going to get because you're probably going to get a lot of stuff, not just from the show floor, but normally when you attend educational events, there are handouts, um, sometimes full binders. So you're going to make sure you have a place to put those and carry them around. And if you're worried about security, normally there is a room we can secure them in for you. Let's see. I guess that is it. Uh, do you want it up for questions, actually, instead of doing the normal chat, uh, CC? I've gotten in uh, I had to leave early, but I will go ahead and do it now, and I'll respond to her later. Um, when will uh, or can can people get their badge number early? And the reason for the question is the ASSA app requires you to enter your badge number if you want to save, you know, like favorite vendors you don't want to forget to go see and things like that. Is there a way to get that badge number early? Best of it was call here, and I think Chris, we just actually just got some of the today. We don't have all of them. If you registered after September 17th, we won't have your badge yet. We won't have that till we get to Chicago, which is a glitch in the ISSA system, quite honestly. But if you if you want to get the app, call here. Chris Zimmer can look up your badge number, and we can give it to you, so you'll have it to download the app. And uh, hopefully folks have uh, have heard that we're going to try to open this up for verbal spoken uh, questions. And uh, if you're in, in an area where you've got uh, got some noise around you, uh, how about go ahead and mute your own phone. I'm going to go ahead and unmute everyone and see how this works. 
We are live. Everyone on the call can speak. Don't don't all talk at once. But please, uh, you know, announce yourself. Tell us who you are and what your question is. Well, what's your journey? I was saying, we're, we're that's real, everything. Uh, um, question, can, if you're not registered yet, can you still register? Yes, you can. And you can register uh, literally on site at the convention. Obviously, we would prefer you register in advance. It just helps us with our planning for the meal functions and things like that. I didn't mention, Derek, the, the president's reception on Friday night. Uh, I mentioned that Wednesday reception is light hors d'oeuvres. The Wednesday Friday reception is heavy hors d'oeuvres. We'll have a couple of carving stations, and I wouldn't call it dinner, but some of you might. But so we have we have a, uh, a little heavier selection for folks on uh, on on Friday night. Okay. Any questions? Or I see we've got a couple of alumni on the call. Uh, Stephanie, Liz, any of you have anything you'd want to add? Any advice you think we left out? Eric, you did a great job. Wear a couple of shoes. That's the thing. Bring a sweater. Mm-hmm. Bring a sweater. It can be cold sometimes. You don't have much temperature control when it's a football game. Well, it'll be a little cool in the evening. It's going to be a nice, typical fall Chicago week, uh, mm-hmm. looking at the long-range forecast. But, it, you know, it could get down to the high 40s, low 50s in the evening. So um, if you're going to be outside in the evening, it could get a little chill. Really. And another thing is, bring like three times as many business cards as you think you'll need. At least three times as many, because you're going to go through way more than you think you're going to need. Nice. Any other questions or advice? If not, we can wrap up the call. It's been almost a full hour already, so I don't want to keep full just because I said it would be an hour. So go ahead. It's been great, and we can certainly continue taking questions. I'll remind everybody that uh, we have recorded this call, and uh, shortly after we conclude, we'll be making this available um, you know, to ARCC to share on their website. Um, it'll be available through the ISC website. We'll make some uh, links to post on Facebook. So uh, hopefully, you, uh, um, you know, if you came late or had to leave early, you'll uh, you'll check out. The- the full prim and uh, be able to share this with other colleagues you know will be will be joining us or uh, have been thinking about joining us in, in Chicago for, for these great uh, great collection of events. One other thing on the on the uh, badge number for the app, if you just email Chris Zimmer at Chris at ARCSI dot org, uh, that might be easier than calling. Just send her an email and she can email you back with your badge number. Okay, great. And we'll add that to our uh, uh, our post when we put you know, put some of your questions online so folks can uh, can share this information. Eric, Ernie, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been incredible and uh, cannot wait to meet everybody that I've spoken to over the past few years at, in Chicago for the first time myself. Great. Well, thanks everyone for attending today. Thank you. Thank you.